Selenium Class 15, Java Abstraction and Encapsulation. See, Java Object Oriented, Java Object Oriented Programming. See, four fundamentals of OOPS. Object Oriented Programming System, OOPS. Four fundamentals. Yesterday we discussed two fundamentals of OOPS. First one, Inheritance. Inheritance. Next, Polymorphism. Polymorphism. Uh, today, abstraction. Third one, abstraction. Next, last one, small concept, encapsulation. <coughs> encapsulation. See, first I am taking abstraction. Abstraction. Uh, what is abstraction? It is a process of hiding implementation details and showing only functionality to the user. It is a process of hiding implementation details and showing only functionality to the user. Suppose if we know the method name but don't know the method functionality, for example, we will decide later if you know the method name but don't know the method functionality, then we go for abstract methods. See, first abstraction. It is a process of it is a process of hiding hiding implementation details implementation details and showing and showing only functionality only functionality to the user user <coughs> next uh, in java uh, abstraction point of view in java we have two types of methods forget about the general classification built-in methods and user defined methods that is general classification here in this scenario we have two types of methods in java see two types two types of methods in java <clears throat> one is concrete methods another is abstract methods concrete methods means complete methods abstract method methods means incomplete methods see first one concrete methods concrete methods complete methods methods which are having body the methods <clears throat> which are having body example uh, it is not syntax example suppose public void yard method name open curly braces next close curly braces and within these curly braces write body statements every normal statement should end with semicolon 
see this is method body selected one okay next abstract methods abstract methods means incomplete methods the methods which are not having body <clears throat> abstract methods the methods which are not having body example suppose public void suppose add <coughs> open and close curly braces semicolon next after implementation only we can use <coughs> abstract methods concrete methods we can directly reuse but after implement after implementation only we can reuse or we can use abstract methods okay now madhavi concrete methods and uh, abstract methods what are concrete methods sri uh, tushar concrete methods abstract methods what are concrete methods uh those are the method which uh, which are having a body body next and, uh, com yeah. concrete methods means complete methods next abstract methods uh those are the method that that, that not having any body not uh, having any body okay yeah. next observe when we go for uh abstract methods say if we know the method name if we know the method name but don't know the method functionality but don't know the method functionality then we we go for abstract methods then we go for abstract methods next <clears throat> java class see up to now we created so many java classes and executed java class contains <coughs> 100% concrete methods see java class contains 100% concrete methods concrete methods 100% concrete methods next abstract class contains one or more abstract methods abstract class general class abstract class abstract class contains one or more one or more minimum one maximum all one or all or one or more one or more abstract methods abstract methods uh, just a uh, small example concentrate observe srivalli suppose example class 1 class 1 for example class 1 having 
10 methods class 1 having 10 methods next 10 methods are are uh, concrete methods complete methods see 10 methods are complete methods 10 methods are complete or concrete methods uh, then it is java class or abstract class srivalli is it java class or abstract class java class java class it is a java class next another class class 2 suppose class 2 also having same 10 methods 10 or 20 10 methods in these 10 methods 5 methods 5 concrete methods 5 concrete methods and remaining 5 abstract methods Rahman is it Java class or Java abstract class this is Java abstract class abstract class abstract class <clears throat> next class 3 Suppose class 3 also having 10 methods. In this class 3, <coughs> all 10 methods are abstract methods. All 10 methods. All 10 methods are abstract, abstract methods. Ah, Kamala. Is it Java class or abstract class? class. Abstract class. See, Java class means general class. Class means 100% concrete methods. Suppose some concrete methods, some abstract methods. That is abstract class. Suppose all abstract methods, abstract That's class good. only. Okay, now Preeti, are you following this concept? Yes, sir. Okay, I will show an example. Concentrate. Example. See, example for abstract class. <clears throat> example for abstract class. Uh, see, first create a project. This is one time activity. Suppose A, B, C, D. Next, create a package. Package. X, Y, Z, A. Next, create a class. Java class. Suppose class name. Sample. Sample 1. Okay. <clears throat> In this sample 1 class, create some concrete methods and some abstract methods. Uh, suppose class name is bike. Bike. Change the compilation unit. Rename compilation unit to bike java. Okay. You can, you can rename class names. Okay. <clears throat> Next, create method. Concrete method, suppose public void handle, public void handle, one small message, just a minute, see bikes have handle.
this is one concrete method next one more method suppose seat bikes have seats next abstract method suppose public void engine method name engine semicolon ah uh, this is abstract method ah uh, suggestion syntax error what is the suggestion change bike <coughs> dot engine to abstract abstract <coughs> suppose in any class Uh, one or more abstract methods are there then class also abstract see make type bike abstract see now no syntax errors and no suggestions next create one more method suppose public abstract void uh, suppose wheels see in this abstract class we have four methods two methods concrete methods remaining two methods abstract methods suppose i want to uh, reuse uh, these methods create one more class in this package uh, suppose hero honda finish ah uh, inherit um tell me shrivalli how to inherit method extend extends keyboard extends, extends. Uh, suppose i want to extends bike class bike okay ah uh, it is showing <coughs> add unimplemented methods see whenever you extend abstract class first we need to implement the abstract methods then use otherwise make type type this class as abstract i want to use these methods add unimplemented methods see unimplemented methods suppose bikes have engine bikes have engine see override see in the parent class and child class same method names See in the parent class only method declaration here implementation. Next, I want to use these methods. Ah, uh, main method. Public static void main string args. open curly braces ah uh, <clears throat> uh, tell me madhavi i want to use uh, methods from parent class in that parent class two concrete methods and two abstract methods i implemented abstract methods in this child class then i want to use all four methods ah uh, how to use first oh, we need create to create uh, create object na you know how yeah. to create object create object uh, how to create object class name here what is the class name hero yeah. honda this is the class name mm -hmm. class name 
सपोज ऑब्जेक्ट नेम वो बी जे इक्वल टू न्यू न्यू की वर्ड क्लास नेम न्यू की वर्ड क्लास नेम सपोज वो बी जे हीरो होंडा ओके नेक्स्ट एक्सेस द मेथड्स ओ बी जे एच एच डॉट डॉट सपोज इंजन नेक्स्ट ओ बी जे एच एच डॉट सीट नेक्स्ट ओ बी जे एच एच डॉट सी व्हील्स यू व्हील्स यू कैन यूज ऑल मेथड्स आर सम मेथड्स बेस्ड ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट यू नो नीड टू एक्सेस ऑल मेथड्स इफ आई इफ रिक्वायर्ड यू कैन एक्सेस अदरवाइज you can access one or two methods only dot what is the one more thing handle handle just a minute remove blank lines it's not syntax error but execution performance will be reduced run the program observe it is providing output all four methods executed next uh, observe uh, madhavi i want to execute i want to access these methods from parent class in the parent class implementation only for two methods uh, how to access suppose main method Uh, you try to create object bike ah uh, just a minute what is that one one more parenthesis ah uh, one more curly braces suppose bike obj bike equal to new bike obj bike Uh, sorry he uh, this is bike class name <coughs> observe error cannot initiate the type of bike this is abstract class na in the abstract class we cannot initiate the object see cannot initiate the type bike then how to access these methods observe madhavi using child class method uh, sorry child class object you try say reverse reusing obj dot not accessing just a minute obj hh dot not x not allowing just a minute suppose create object hero honda obj equal to new hero honda next obj dot engine next obj dot wheels see i am accessing two methods only in this parent class i run the parent class see two methods executed <coughs> run the child class why it is showing two engines pardon why is it, why it is showing two engines like wheels we put right just a minute 
just a minute this one run oh bikes have engine engine no message uh, you ah, message problem just uh, cosmetic defect message problem not method accessing problem see engine seat wheels handle okay next parent class engine wheels okay na madhavi ah uh, here in this in this abstract class how to access uh, methods in main class or parent class Oh, we have to use child class we have to create object in child class yes. see here object name different you can use same name also no issue uh, see here obj here obj hh but class same why we are using child class name in this parent class in the child class only we implemented abstract methods okay na kamala sir any confusion no sir see this is abstract class next reuse child class preeti are you following Sir, yes, one sir. question. Just a minute. Who is asking? Yogi. Ashri, will you ask me? In parent class, we have concrete methods, right, sir? Yes. Can can we access? Uh, so we can't access concrete methods in the parent class. No, we cannot access concrete methods also without completion of. uh all abstract methods implementation we cannot access concrete methods also okay see just a minute this is abstract class abstract class next this one is child class or sub class okay next see uh one more concept interface interface see most of the time we use java classes only why i am discussing interface interfaces 100% abstract interfaces are 100% abstract <clears throat> and our main selenium tool selenium web driver also interface web driver doesn't have ide only programming interface ah uh, interfaces before that general concept observe uh, rahman selenium ide has user interface or you can say integrated integrated development environment integrated development environment say uh, we didn't discuss selenium ide just observe selenium ide has in user interface a uh, menus and menu items you can use menus and menu items next selenium web driver selenium web driver ah uh, is a programming interface not user interface is a programming interface 
Uh, observe Madhavi, find the difference between these two Selenium IDE and Selenium web driver. <coughs> Kamala. Srivalli. See, Selenium web driver has Selenium web driver has programming interface. No menus, no menu items in Selenium web driver. But Selenium yeah. Selenium IDE has uh, user, interface. Uh, user interface menus and menu items available suppose if you want to generate a test case in selenium IDE you can select record feature record and playback commands uh, play, playback command also available suppose without recording also if you want to generate test cases you can if you know the syntax you can type test steps in selenium IDE Otherwise, you can use Selenium recording feature. See, Selenium IDE has integrated development environment. Next, Selenium web driver doesn't have any IDE. No menus, no menu items. For each and everything, we need to write the code. For See, it provides editor and some uh, commands commands web driver commands or methods for each and everything we need to write the code for example i want to uh, recognize one web element link is there in google home page gmail link first i want to recognize gmail link then perform operation on it operation means click for recognizing the object as well as performing operation on that object we need to use we need to write the code but in selenium ide you can just record then it will generate corresponding test step any confusion madhavi user interface uh, or ide versus programming interface no sir next for example sir question sir ah uh, tell me which one is superior, sir? Selenium web driver is superior. Oh, okay. Thank see, you. Uh, say Selenium IDE has user-friendly environment, but so many limitations. But Selenium web driver ha uh, doesn't have any limitations. Limitations are very less. Yeah, compared see, to IDE. Uh, compared to IDE. See, whenever you take user-friendly environment or ready-made environment, so many limitations. For example, you take C language and VB language. Nowadays, VB.net. C language, VB language. C also programming language. VB also programming language. VB script is different. VB script is lightweight version of VB. Forget about VB script. Compare C language, VB language. C also programming language, VB also programming language. Which one is easy to create programs? B. Kamala. C, C language is easy or VB is easy? VB is easy, sir. Why? VB has IDE, built-in yeah. tools. Suppose you want, if you uh, suppose as a developer, if you want to create one button, uh, button tools, uh, uh, buttons available, you can drag and drop. Aid box, drag and drop. Radio button, drag and drop. For functionality only, you can write the code. But in C language, no built-in tools available. For each and everything, you need to write the code. C language difficult than VB. But which one is powerful? C language or VB? C. Language, what? sir. Huh? C language is powerful. Yes, C language is powerful. Why? You can create any type of object. You can write any type of functionality. But we be limitations. Ready-made environments have limitations. In the same way, Selenium IDE has so many limitations. Okay. Next, <coughs> competitor tool, UFT, formerly QTP. 
QTP has Preeti, QTP has user interface or programming interface? It is having both. Sir. Both. See, Q, uh, UFT has both IDE as well as programming interface. Suppose if you want to generate a test in UFT using recording feature you can generate otherwise you can type test script in the UFT tool editor. Suppose if you want to insert verification points in UFT for that you can use UFT checkpoints or you can insert VB script conditional statements. Okay. Uh, UFT has both IDE as well as programming interface. Now you tell me Kamala which one is powerful UFT or Selenium web driver? Forget about Selenium IDE that is prototype tool, simple okay. tool. Selenium okay. web driver or UFT, UFT uh, tool? Uh, web driver sir. Why? It has both na. UFT has both IDE as well as programming interface. Okay. Uh, Selenium web driver only programming interface. Okay, we uh, using programming interface we can do anything. But which one yeah. is powerful? UFT or Selenium? Mm, since Selenium is a open source tool. <coughs> okay, say we can't say. We can't say. Why? UFT has some advantages. It has IDE okay. as well as programming interface. You can use tool features or script features. But yeah. Selenium in Selenium web driver, no tool features, no built in result reporting facility, no other tool features, only programming interface. But it has some advantages over UFT. For example, open source one advantage. Next, uh, cross platform, uh, uh, it supports uh, Windows, Macintosh, uh, Unix, etc. Cross platform on advantage, it supports different programming, it supports various programming languages for enhancing test cases. But you have to what, about, only. Uh, what about browsers, sir? It supports all kinds of browsers, sir. Won't the which one? Uh, uh, web driver. Web driver supports six browsers, uh, four, five to six browsers right now. Uh, all leading browsers. All leading browsers Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, Opera, etc. Okay, say just find the difference between interface and IDE. Next, Java interfaces. Actually, in our test automation, we use Java classes only, but our Selenium web driver is interface. That's why I'm explaining this concept. You no need to focus more on this concept. Just know the concept. Java interfaces. Interface is a Java type definition block which is 100% abstract. See, Java uh, interface. Sir? Ah. I don't get that the answer. Uh, what your which tool is more powerful you say? We can't the say. QTP? We can't say. Answer okay. is we can't say. Okay. See Selenium web driver having some advantages. UFT having another advantages over Selenium web driver. So we can't say. Okay. Thank you sir. Welcome. See interface is a Java Java type definition, Java type definition block. Say observe Preeti for some questions, three answers na. Yes, no, we can't say like like. Yes. Ah, uh, here also same. We can't say no. Yes or no answers. Why? Okay. Selenium web driver having some advantages. Uh, then UFT, UFT having uh, some advantages over Selenium web driver also. 
you tell me one advantage of EFT over Selenium web driver? One advantage? Selenium. Advantage of EFT over Selenium web driver in case of functional test automation. It has built-in result reporting facility, but Selenium web driver doesn't have built-in result reporting facility. It provides summary only for test execution. Isn't it? Right. Next, one more thing. Already we discussed this concept, uh, Selenium versus UFT. Uh, and one more thing, UFT, since it is a vendor tool, reliable technical support from vendor, but Selenium web driver, no reliable technical support. Okay, now, uh, now you tell me, Preeti, advantage of Selenium web driver over UFT. Advantage of Selenium web driver over UFT tool. It's very uh, simple. Selenium web driver is open source, so we can download yes. very easily. Yes, and open source. You forget about easy or difficult. It is open okay. source. We can download and use with free of cost. No license cost. Ah, that is one advantage. Anyone? Any other advantages? Just tell me one more advantage. Uh, the code is uh, available online, mm. so we can uh, easily access. No, no, where available code? You need to write the code. Some help available for uh, UFT also. Some help forums available. You can you tell me, uh, Rahman, one more advantage of Selenium web driver over UFT tool? Uh, Selenium web driver support various environment like Windows, Mac and ah, yes. Operating environments. Whereas right. UFT supports only yeah. Windows. Microsoft. Only Windows. Okay. Okay. Continue. Uh, come to mainstream. Interface is a Java type definition block which is 100% abstract. Which is 100%. abstract for a, what about java abstract class kamala interface java interface is 100% abstract no concrete methods all are abstract methods only but what about abstract class uh, not 100% Suppose if it is 100 percent, then what is any problem? No problem, sir. Uh, then one or more abstract methods in Java yes, abstract class. Find the yes. difference in Java yes, abstract class. See in these in these two areas, abstraction is there. Java yes. classes and Java interfaces. But Java uh, abstract class one or more. One or more Abstract methods. Minimum one abstract method, maximum all methods. All methods. If it is interface, all. Yes, 100% abstract methods, which is 100% abstract. Okay. Next, all the interface methods are by default public and abstract. See. All the interface all the interface methods by default <coughs> by default public and abstract abzara rahman by default public means no private or other modifiers for methods in uh, interfaces. Next, static and final modifiers are not allowed for interface methods. Static and final static and final modifiers are not allowed. 
आर नॉट अलाउड फॉर इंटरफेस मेथड्स सी नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन इंटरफेस वेरिएबल्स हैव टू इनिशियलाइज at the time of declaration see in interfaces variables variables have to initialize initialize at the time of declaration at the time of declaration uh, example observe uh, observe tushar what i told in interfaces variables have to initialize at the time of declaration if it is class after declaration also you can initialize or at the time of declaration also you can initialize Uh, observe the example int a is it correct or incorrect in interfaces wrong sir just a minute to sir int a is it correct declaration or is it correct usage or incorrect usage to sir uh, i'm not sure sir why what i told what i told in interfaces variables have to initialize at the time uh, of declaration here uh, initialized this variable or not uh, no just declare just declare no yes. i didn't in, i didn't initialize any value so is, is it a correct uh, usage or incorrect usage as uh, incorrect usage incorrect incorrect if it is class correct usage only next suppose int a equal to 10 uh, observe the next next step is it correct or incorrect that's correct sir correct see correct correct usage uh, observe next point in interfaces variables are public static final by default public static means class level final final means madhavi final means constant value constant fixed value we can't change the value later <coughs> see in interfaces variables variables are public static public no private static no instance only class level and final by default next a uh, interface is going to be used using implements keyword suppose class we used extends keyword for interfaces implements keyword see interfaces interface is going to going to be used using implements keyword implements we can reuse but using implements keyword not extends keyword okay i will show an example concentrate example for interface example for java interface
శ్రీ సేమ్ హైరార్కి జావా ప్రాజెక్ట్ ప్యాకేజ్ అండర్ ప్యాకేజ్ యూ కెన్ క్రియేట్ క్లాసెస్ ఆర్ ఇంటర్ఫేసెస్ క్లాసెస్ అండ్ ఇంటర్ఫేసెస్ సి న్యూ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ సపోజ్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ వన్ ఫినిష్ సి దిస్ ఈజ్ ఇంటర్ఫేస్ నాట్ క్లాస్ బట్ writing interfaces similar to classes writing code in interface similar to class but class is different interface is different okay here 100% uh, abstract methods na see public void engine next public void wheels next <clears throat> public void seat next public void handle okay say next i want to i want to reuse these are incompleted methods uh, abstract methods uh, before accessing these methods first we need to implement ah uh, next i want to implement i want to reuse see reuse methods reuse methods from interface interface to class interface to class Uh, create a class in this package class <clears throat> suppose class new a uh, reuse a uh, reuse rahman implement keyword implements implements ah interface name interface 1 oh. interface 1 okay say sessions add unimplemented methods or make type class new as abstract i don't want to make abstract i want to access so add unimplemented methods ah uh, first implement then use just a minute implement then use just a minute bikes have engine any meaningful code i have a question sir ah is it mandatory to use at the rate of override code that is annotation overriding just we will check that one why it is overriding who is asking this question krishna ah uh, krishna tell me why override in the parent Because and child same method name available na yes that's why override okay we will check that one just wait that override is annotation ah uh, suppose i want to access these methods 
accessing methods from interface to class uh, right uh, main method public static void main string args open curly braces okay <coughs> next <coughs> uh, create object what is the class name class new class new uh, obj equal to new class new next access methods obj dot seat next obj dot wheels next Sir? ah uh, can we change the messages yes you can change ah yes yes i, I will change no, no. You mention everywhere in change. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I, I will change. Okay, no problem. Okay. Dot, uh, for example, seat engine. Engine. Next, obj dot handle. Okay, change the messages engine wheels handle uh, run the program see bikes have seats wheels engine handle uh, krishna chaitanya askuna remove override Any issue, Krishna Chaitanya? No. See, it is only for user friendliness. It is showing the method is overriding. Same method name available in parent class, but in parent class only method definition, only method declaration here implementation. You no need okay. to use that override. <coughs> Run. Okay, now. Next, Madhavi, I want to I want to access these methods in the interface. Interface, Madhavi. Yes, sir. How to access methods? Uh, okay, already we implemented methods in this uh, child class. The child class we implemented. Ah. Class new. Ah, just a minute. Interface. First uh, main method. Just a minute. You can copy main method. Ah. Here you create object in interfaces. We can't create object using that child class. Relation is there now. What is the problem? Interface. Okay. Create object. Create object, Preeti. Create object in this interface. Uh, we have to give the class name. Ah, where see this class related class na? Yes. Relation between interface and the class parent child relation is there. Use this class new. Class new. Class new. Suppose the OBJX equal to 
new new class new good class new sensitive next obj x dot suppose engine obj x dot suppose wheels this time accessing two methods only you can access all methods no pro, no issue uh, run the interface see bikes have engine bikes have wheels uh, run the subclass see four methods okay now madhavi any confusion no sir see first create create an interface create an interface can i have a question ah if interface and class ah they are in different package then we can't access right different package here we are using this one na implements keyword na you can access if it is in different package yes different also. package also yesterday we accessed class 2 class using extends na class ah okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah class interface to class using implements keyword you can access okay you can access next second one this one reuse methods from interface to class okay interface to class next observe from class <clears throat> class to class we use extends keyword from uh class uh, interface to class just a minute note from class class to class we use a extends extends keyword next from interface interface to class we use implements keyword what about from interface to interface uh, interface to interface madhavi No, Kamala any idea interface to interface No sir that is invalid see class to class either concrete class or abstract class class to class interface to class see class to class earlier we used abstract uh, just a minute just a minute here parent class abstract na just a minute here from class to class here either concrete class concrete 
क्लास और एब्स्ट्रैक्ट क्लास कॉन्क्रीट क्लास और एब्स्ट्रैक्ट क्लास नो इंटरफेस टू इंटरफेस दैट इज इनवैलिड ओके नेक्स्ट वन स्मॉल कॉन्सेप्ट एन कैप्सुलेशन एन कैप्सुलेशन small concept what is encapsulation it is a process of wrapping code and data into a single unit actually in our test automation we don't use we never use uh, this uh, <coughs> encapsulation actually it is developers concern okay just uh, i will explain uh, explain the concept with example Simp uh, small concept it is a process of wrapping code and data into a single unit encapsulation is the technique making the fields in a class private and providing access via public methods means using encapsulation we can access private fields also pri private fields also advantages it provides us control over the data it provides us control over the data hmm. observe it is a process of it is a process of wrapping wrapping code and data into a single unit see a uh, general example capsule mixer of several medicines next encapsulation encapsulation is the technique encapsulation is the technique making the fields in a class private making the fields in a class private security point of view and providing a access and providing access via public methods public methods advantages it provides control over the data next by providing setter and getter methods we can make a class read only or write only by providing setter and getter methods we can make a class read only or write only i'll i'll show one small example concentrate uh, create a class suppose class 1 class 1 uh, create a variable suppose string type private string 
string name for example name equal to test automation semicolon next write get get method getter method see public string get name this is just method name a return name written name just a minute main method i want to access this one how to access suppose see this is same class you can access private fields class 1 obj equal to new class 1 obj dot get name run it is not get name just a uh, setter method also required in the same class obj of oh, get name uh, without setter also you can access this is run see test automation private field but in the same class no issue suppose from another class class 2 class 2 suppose class 2 obj2 equal to new obj uh, new class 2 just a minute obj2 dot Uh, here we need to reuse inherit extends class 1 observe krishna chaitanya observe run the program see we are accessing that string name from parent class the string is private field na yes sir using get method we are accessing that private field suppose if you want to set a new value 
<coughs> set new value just a minute write setter method public a uh, public string public void get a uh, set name set name string put mute string new name this is setter method above one is getter method suppose name equal to new name suppose if you want to set local value obj dot obj2 obj2 dot set name suppose selenium i want to set new value now it is executing selenium ah uh, this time kamala what is the output selenium 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 test automation test automation see we are not setting the value only getting the value R suppose for example read only run test automation from this private field private we are accessing private fields using getter method suppose if you want to set new value you can use setter method see simple one uh, see main object of this encapsulation we can access private fields via public methods see this is about encapsulation just a minute see these cons uh, these java concepts are sufficient for our test automation sir ah uh, tell me preeti um the get name and set name those are the user defined methods right yes absolutely user defined methods only okay thank you sir welcome see these are the uh important concepts for our test automation java concepts for our test automation tomorrow onwards we will discuss selenium web driver just last 2 minutes recap this one in this java can we, ah, can we use other than get name can we use other name as method name other than get name other than get name that is not fixed na actually these are not reserved i think not reserved you can access na Okay, sir. Say just coding standard get set. Those are coding standards. You can use X Y Z or A B C D. No issue. But this uh, 
terminology is this is setter uh, this is getter method first one is getter method next is setter method that is terminology you can use your own names uh, observe uh, rahman just to recap java for selenium uh, we discussed the requ required concepts these concepts are sufficient for our test automation tomorrow onwards we will discuss selenium web driver just to recap see for java uh, for selenium uh, core java is enough we divided our core java concept into two categories a java fundamentals next java object oriented programming system concepts uh, just tell me tell me the headlines what we discussed we discuss java program structure okay that is not concept okay suppose first we discussed comments are uh, just about types i uh, say java environment setup java environment setup that is not java concept that is prerequisite ah uh, concepts tell me continue rahman concepts Uh, comments yes comments in java data types next data types then we discuss about java variables variables first are modifiers first modifiers first okay modifier uh, sequence maintain the sequence modifiers first why we use modifiers in variables also okay modifier yes, here we discussed uh, vijaya we discussed two types of modifiers what are the two types of modifiers just in names access modifiers and non access modifiers good next continue vijaya you continue uh, variables in java yes variables we have three uh, types okay. of variables uh, local variables static instant variables, variables and instance variables next operators operators in java ah uh, next flow control statements ah uh, flow control two types basically two types what are the two types conditional conditional statements and loop statements pardon conditional conditional statements and loop statements good just a minute conditional statements <coughs> next loop statements ah uh, next arrays arrays in java okay arrays java methods string handling string handling in java continue vijaya uh, regular expressions regular expressions we didn't discuss string handling next io operations we discussed na input output operations method sir just a minute methods later io operations and uh, file handling ah uh, continue vijaya um methods we discussed na uh, yeah java methods two types of methods we discussed one is built in methods and user defined methods yes built in methods next user defined mm -hmm. methods user defined methods next next exception exception handling yes 
एक्सेप्शन एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग आई थिंक दीज आर द कॉन्सेप्ट जस्ट ए मिनट these are java fundamentals say before this we discussed uh, java environment setup prerequisite java environment setup next java program structure program structure okay ah next java oops continue uh, vijaya oops concepts um four, four fundamentals, fundamentals of oops what are the four fundamentals inheritance polymorphism abstraction and encapsulation inheritance sequence this is first one next polymorphism polymorphism abstraction next uh, today we discussed the abstraction and encapsulation next encapsulation okay see uh, next we will focus on selenium web driver i'm going to close the session any queries rahman rahman no queries are fine thank Welcome. you tushara amin tushara amin uh yes i'm good okay thanks preeti preeti i'm good sir thank okay. you so okay. much okay cool welcome ah uh, madhavi Okay. 